Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Lance 2375. This is Lance's largest travel trailer floor plan. It's a great couples coach. Let's start off on the back right here. One of the things I like are one of the options, and you can do a couple different things. Uh, the way it comes standard is you have two chairs with a nice center console table, but I personally prefer this option right here, which puts in this nice J lounge. The reason I really like this is it gives you uh, your recliners still, or incliners rather. You'll see right here, uh, both the legs come up on this side. You can see the control right here. The center one has a control built right in here. So you pull that up, legs come up, super nice and comfortable. This way it gives you a spot to be able to sit back and relax. You have a great view to the TV here as well. Just as easy to put back in too. You kind of pull in on it. It locks into place just like so. Uh, unlike a lot of your recliners, it doesn't take much leg strength. That one is nice and easy to retract, which is great. Also, this does drop down too. So if you want extra bedding, it's a standard jackknife style sofa, just lifts up, drops right down there. That way you can lay down here, you get uh, kind of like a secondary bed, which is pretty cool. You know, giving you a couple different options for this J lounge, or you can obviously sit on it just like it is right now. I personally like this seat too. You know, if you uh, just want to kind of sit here, you can put your feet up, relax here in the corner. Just very comfortable all the way uh, around. You see you have some small little ledges here on the sides, but it is enough that if you have a beverage, you're able to set them up there, which is cool. Nice little side pocket over here. And if you want to sneak some remotes or something in there, you can do that there too. Windows all the way around, as you'd expect. Uh, these do have day and night shades. Currently, we have the night shades, the privacy shades down. But if I lift this up, you will see the day shades right here. That will allow some light to still be able to come through. Storage all the way across the top. They have the decorative glass on here. One of the things I like that they do is they you see they put a strut on every door. That way, you know, it's simple one-hand operation. You don't have to try to hold the door up while getting in here. And then they use light ply all the way through for all their cabinetry. It's lightweight, and you'll see it's extremely sturdy. Uh, it's definitely a great material. They also CNC cut everything, so every single piece is uh, precision cut. That way you don't have any fit and finish issues, which again is quite nice. Let's move over here real quick to the slide out dinette. This is the midnight interior you see right here. It's the newest color in their color lineup. Um, you know, I think again, it kind of brings in some darker colors, which is nice and kind of offsets with, you know, they throw the leather right in here as well as kind of like the microfiber down on the bottom. So a couple different color options uh, or palettes here in that midnight interior color. You do have windows all the way throughout this dinette as well against lead and all that natural light. You have a light right up top here at night. The cool thing about this is it's on a dimmer switch. So if you want like a little night light, you know, maybe you're heading out, but you don't want to turn all the lights off so you can see when you come in, you can turn this down. Or same thing in the morning, you know, if you have people sleeping out here and you don't want to disturb them, uh, you know, you have that dimmer switch there. <clears throat> now when I talk about people sleeping here, you do have the jackknife sofa as you saw. However, it's not a huge bed. Um, you know, it's decent size where someone can cut, uh, kind of curl up a little bit, be able to sleep there. But this will make a larger bed here. Dream style dinette, it's quite simple. You have this little lever, you just flip this lever, that will allow you to push the table down. You then take the back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space right there. Another thing Lance does a very good job of is gives you massive storage underneath. Take a look at that. You have that on both sides. Huge storage here. So they definitely fully utilize the uh, dinette and give you, and they maximize on the storage right there, giving you the maximum possible. Now I do have some people that, all, that ask me, you know, why the slide is raised. Uh, you know, a lot of people like flush floor slides these days, and it's quite simple. Lance tries to build lightweight campers. This, granted, this one is a little bit heavier. It comes in a little over 5,300 pounds, the way it is optioned but they still try to keep them as lightweight, and that's pretty good weight for the size of this trailer. So, um, you know, they expect you to tow this with smaller tow vehicles. In order to get a flush floor slide, what manufacturers have to do is basically raise the main floor here to the same level as the slide. That way the slide mechanism can basically hide underneath, and that gives you the flush floor. The problem is, if you raise the, the floor, you still need to raise the ceiling, otherwise you lose all your interior height. So, then they raise the overall height of the unit, and now it's not nearly as nice to tow with your smaller vehicles. You're getting a lot more wind resistance. So, for me, I'd much rather have better towability and a little step up, and Lance definitely feels the same way. 
Right over here is your entertainment center, Jensen 12 volt TV, folks. This is great. If you like to do some boondocking, you know, you're going to places where you don't have shore power, this will run off of 12 volts, uh, which is a pretty nice thing to have in any RV. You see you have some hookups right over here, uh, HDMI port, satellite there. You'll also see you have the uh, electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Multimedia center right here. This is a DVD player that's hooked up to the TV. It's also a radio and CD player. Controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. And this unit is Bluetooth capable. See you have some storage right here underneath. You know, if you want to throw DVDs in there or whatever else, just a nice extra little storage area to have. So you move over to the kitchen, you'll see you have good prep space here. Not that it's a huge countertop, but they gave you covers on everything. Sink top cover, you have a recessed cooktop with the cover, and one on your trash can there as well. So let's center right here on the sink. We'll start here and we take this off. Notice that you do have a large single bowl sink instead of the standard round ones you get in a lot of the smaller lands floor plans. Uh, I think they're both great sinks, but this one does definitely give you a little more room as you can see. It is an undermount uh, American stone cast sink here, which is great, nice and big. You can still fit your residential pots and pans down in there. And you have the high rise pull out faucet, which does make it nice and easy to wash and rinse your dishes. Right behind that, this is something that's a little different. When I remove this, you'll see the trash can is right there. Now, it's not a huge trash can, which is honestly probably for the best because chances are, being that close to the countertop, you'll want to change it quite often anyway. But I do like the fact that at least they did give you a dedicated spot there for it. You have the cover on there as well, so that way you can still use that as prep space if you want. You have a window right behind that, LED light here up top. When I open this up, you'll see you have a shelf built in there, so nice extra pantry space. Of course, you still have the strut to hold the door up. LED lights right up top here to help uh, brighten up the kitchen a little bit more. Over here, you see the stainless steel microwave with your hood, both a light and fan built into that. And directly below is your cooktop with the cover. Now this does fold back, so this kind of doubles as a backsplash. Now granted, they do have the backsplash that wraps all the way around here. I like the fact they wrapped it around to the sidewall because, you know, it is pretty close and chances are you will get some splatter there. Three burner cooktop, the front one being high output, and then directly next to that is your oven. So you take a look at some of the storage down below here. Right below you see you do have a little bit of storage right there. And then over next to that, you have three full extension drawers. The cool thing about these drawers, they do have slow close. You see that right there? It's pretty cool. You know, again, just showing you some of the higher end components that Lance is putting into their camper. Right over here, you have this nice little spice rack. You know, you can put a couple spices in there. Electrical outlet, you have to have a place to be able to plug in your coffee maker. Key ring next to that. And then down below, you have the fire extinguisher there. One of the things I like about that is it's actually recessed. That way you're not kicking it in and out, you know, or on your way in and out of the camper. I like that they did that. You know, again, it's sometimes it's the small things that manufacturers put in uh, that mean a lot in any RV. We take a look up top the ceiling real quick. LED lights throughout. You will see you have a vent right here for some nice airflow. You also have a skylight right here in the kitchen. So you can open that up. Definitely helps bring a lot of light in here. Your AC is built uh, right here, basically in the center of the RV. Now, because it's not ducted, what you'll notice is they did cut the top out of this right here. That way the airflow is going back into the bedroom space. Right over here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. We open that up, so you have plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. You'll also see the thermostat is right there on the outside, so it is super easy to adjust. Now, if you're thinking there isn't quite enough pantry space, not a problem. Lance obviously thought the same thing. So right here, they built in that extra pantry. You have this pull-out one right here, which has nice wide uh, shelves in here. Most of these pull-out pantries are about half this width, but you can see this is quite usable, folks. Um, you know, you do have some adjustments here if you want to adjust where the baskets sit, but this really allows you to store a lot of extra food. And then you'll see you also have the drawers right down below. If you take a look at the bathroom, the 2375, you'll see right down here you have your foot flush porcelain bowl toilet. That way it is nice and easy to clean. As far as space, when I sit down here, you see I definitely have plenty of leg room. I'm pretty broad in the shoulders. It's a little bit tighter on the left side, but honestly, even with the door closed, there's still plenty of room here. One of the things I do like is right up behind me, take a look at this. They added in some extra storage there. It's not super deep storage, so you probably can't get toilet paper or anything in there. But, you know, maybe for some of your own uh, items like uh, shaving cream or cologne, things like that, 
that's probably not a bad spot to put them right there. Now for some of your larger items like your toilet paper or your towels, take a look at this. You have good storage right over here, nice and deep. You can easily roll up some towels, put them in there. Toilet paper holder is tucked away in there as well. And then you have some shelves right down below that. Next to that is our Neo Angle shower. They do have the roller style doors in here, which I like because when the doors are wet, you know, you're done showering, you open it up, all the water just goes right down in the shower pan rather than all over the floor. Plus, obviously, you have the space savings. You don't have a big door you have to worry about swinging open and shut. When I step in here, just to give you a frame of reference, I'm six foot. You see I do have enough room here, especially with the skylight. You know, even if you're 6'2", six 6'3", six you can probably still stand in here fairly comfortable uh, because of that skylight there. You'll also notice the hand wand for ease of use, and then you have a couple shelves in here for your shampoo uh, and soap, as you would expect. Right over here is a mirrored medicine cabinet, so more storage right in there for anything you want to tuck away. You have the nice vanity light up top, really helps brighten things up. Countertop right down below, nice countertop. Uh, you'll see it is a um, undermount sink in here, which is cool. Nice deep sink here as well, so it is easy to wash your hands. You know, you have plenty of room to the back of the sink here. You're not crammed in. Electrical outlet to plug in your hair dryer, curling iron, whatever else you need to plug in, and some additional storage right down underneath. You'll also see you have uh, heat that is plumbed in here. You know, this is a four season camper and they expect you to be camping in some colder climates. If you do, they'll make sure you're nice and toasty. Last thing, you have your towel bar on the wall right over there. The bedroom of the 2375 is quite unique. One of the things I do like about it is the fact they put a door right here. So this is kind of nice. You can close this door off, especially on colder nights. It'll help keep the heat in the bedroom, make it a lot warmer. Or if you want that extra privacy when guests are over, you can close the door. Now granted, both the pantry as well as the bathroom are on the other side here, so you'll probably have to have some kind of knocking system in place, but at least you do have that option. If you don't want to use the door, and again, you have guests, you also have a curtain right here, so you can close that curtain off. That way the guests still have full access to the bathroom. The other thing I like is this right here. They put great extra storage here in the bedroom. Normally you don't get this in a lot of campers. Right up top you have this nice uh, storage area. You'll see it has a shelf built in, very similar to the one in the kitchen actually. Strut assisted, so it's one hand operation. Good countertop space right here with an electrical outlet. You'll see you have two full extension ball bearing drawers there. Again, nice slow closed drawers. They didn't skimp on any quality. And underneath you have this huge storage space. And if you can see in there, you actually have a hanging rod in there as well. So if you wanna use this for extra wardrobe, you can. If you have another use for it, maybe you wanna put some extra bedding in there, whatever else, that's a huge storage area you can certainly take advantage of. One of the things I love about Lance campers is wherever they can, they put in a residential size bed. The 2375 is no exception. This is a 60 by 80 residential queen. So if you're sick of your feet hanging off in campers, you don't have to worry about it in here. When I lift up the bed, you notice you have good storage there underneath as well. So again, if you are using the wardrobe to hang up clothes, you can still put extra bedding and other large items right underneath the bed here. Let's take a quick look on both sides of the bed. You see you have these beautiful nightstands here. It's nice and well lit, which I like too. Uh, but they have plenty of room for a glass of water. If you need a CPAP machine to sleep at night, you have electrical outlets on both sides. This one side over here also has 12 volt as well as dual USB ports. So if you do need to plug cell phones in, you have the capability of doing that too. Then right underneath, you see you have the big full extension drawer there. So anything you, know, you want to put in there, you have your own nice little nightstand basically. And then right up top, you see more wardrobe space, so plenty of space to hang clothes. You have the shelf here going across the top. That is backlit as well. You know, nice extra aesthetics there. If you take a quick look at the ceiling, you will see you have a big power vent fan. So if you don't want to run the AC, you want to open some windows up, turn that guy on, and you'll get some great airflow through here. As far as windows, you have windows on both sides, again, for that cross ventilation. You have a window here on the front to let in some natural light couple LED reading lights there as well. Last thing I want to hit on is right over here, you also have your uh, TV hookups. So, you know, if you do want a TV in the bedroom, you can go ahead and set that guy right there so you can watch a show before bed. Now that we've seen the inside features, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Lance 2375. Starting off right up front, they have the upgraded power tongue jack on here. This is the LCI Smart Jack. 
The cool thing about the Smart Jack, it has two pretty unique features. One is the fact that it has a memory in there. So this makes it even easier to hook back up to your tow vehicle after you're done camping. You can just set that memory on there, lift right back up or lower back down depending on how you moved it. That way you can just back your tow vehicle up, hook up and take off. The other cool thing is after you do hook up, it also has an auto retract. So you just touch a button and the tongue will retract itself. Really makes, uh, again, the hookup and disconnect features a lot more convenient for you. Right back here is your propane tank shroud. This does have what they call the Tri-5 propane tank on there, which gives you three 20-pound tanks or three five-gallon tanks, hence the Tri-5. Uh, it really is a nice thing that Lance did there. So that way you're still getting your uh, 60 pounds of propane that you get on a lot of bigger travel trailers, but they're nice small tanks, which make them a lot easier, not only to transport and fill, but also if you need to swap them out, you can certainly do that as well. Right up front here, you will see instead of the diamond plating like most manufacturers use, Lance went a different route for their rock guard, and I really like it. Uh, it still gives the great protection from any rocks and debris that get thrown up. You'll also see you have LED lights laid in on either side. Right on the front cap, one of the most notable things uh, Lance did in the past couple years is beautiful front window on here. You can see how it's curved to the front of the RV. Just a great looking piece of glass. Really helps improve the looks of the RV itself and of course lets a lot of natural light into the camper. Let's take a quick look at the sidewall here. One of the great things about Lance, behind this fiberglass skin, they have Asdel composite panels, which is a nicer substrate than what most manufacturers are using, which is a Luon. Uh, Asdel has a couple of big advantages to it. One, it's lighter weight. As you know, Lance is trying to build lightweight travel trailers, so any place they can remove some weight is definitely a good thing. Uh, another advantage of it is that it doesn't absorb any moisture. So the reason that's a big advantage, you've seen a lot of the older, um, you know, fiberglass units here, you'll start to have bubbles in the outside, you know? What that's called is delamination. And the reason that generally happens is you get water in the sidewall, which usually does come in through the roof, by the way, but it ends up coming down. And then that Luon backer that most manufacturers use absorbs that moisture, the fiberglass then pops off. That's what creates a bubble. Because they use Asdel in here, it eliminates the uh, chance for that backer to absorb any moisture. The other nice thing about it is the fact that it doesn't have any off-gassing like your Luon generally does. The downside of Asdel Core, of course, is the fact it costs more money. But seeing as how Lance is a high-end camper, they have no problem putting higher-end materials in there. Right over here, we open this up. This is one of two battery trays you have right here. It's a nice slide-out tray, so you can uh, have two batteries on this coach. And again, it is built for it. It's already wired for it. The other one is on the other side there. So it makes it nice and simple to do a lot more of the boondocking. And if you are, you probably want solar. You'll see right there, it is already prepped for solar. Right here is your pass-through storage, covered hinge as you'd expect, magnetic, nice and easy to just set up there. And if you take a look in here, you'll see a couple things. You have an LED light right here in case you're getting in there at night. It's nice and clean, you know, you don't have anything uh, overly exposed. On the far side, you actually have a battery disconnect over there, so you can quickly kill power to the batteries. And right up top here is a table. So if you're at a campsite where it doesn't come with a picnic table, or maybe you just want a second one, you can quickly and easily pull that one out and set it up. Also, slam latch baggage doors, so they are quite convenient uh, to open and close as well. Right down below, you see a propane quick connect. If you like to do some outside grilling, it's super simple. Just plug in right there. That way you feed off your three propane tanks up front instead of having to bring the small green ones with you. You kind of have uh, like a pseudo frameless window right here. I say that because technically it does have a really thin frame, but it still gives that look of the frameless windows that you want. Uh, so very nice looking windows. They are tinted here for privacy as well. And also that tint will help protect the inside from a lot of the UV rays from the color staining and things that you see in a lot of older RVs. Right up top is a huge armless awning, folks. Take a look at the size of that. Most of your power awnings this size, you have to have an arm coming down and that kind of boxes off your campsite a little bit. These Carefree of Colorado armless awnings are great. As you'll see, it's not truly armless. Obviously, it has the horizontal arms there, but you literally touch a button to roll this out. Same thing to have it come right back in. It does have an LED light on there and it has a rain sensor, or no, I'm sorry, a wind sensor. So if it does start to get too windy, that will roll itself back up, which is a nice safety feature. 
If you're somewhere where you're naturally going to have a strong breeze, like you're by the ocean or by a lake, something like that, where the wind is coming across, you can certainly turn that feature off if you so desire. Right underneath that, you see two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside that I had showed you. If you want outside TV, this is where it would attach to. It already has a mount here, so you can hook it up nice and easy. Electrical outlet is right over here. And then right in here are all the TV and satellite connections to hook that outside TV up. Making our way down a little bit further, let's talk about the wheels real quick. Aluminum alloy wheels on here. The great thing about aluminum is the fact it doesn't rust. Less chance for any corrosion there as well. Nitrogen filled tire, so hopefully it holds that tire pressure for a longer period of time. Another thing that's uh, kind of tough to see, but this one has torsion axles. Uh, the torsion axles are great. It's a Dexter torsion axle. The advantage of torsion is it basically provides the same suspension that your, uh, your standard leaf springs do, but your components don't break down nearly as quickly, so that way your suspension will last longer for you. Also, this one has self-adjusting brakes. That's one of those maintenance pieces that a lot of people don't think about is adjusting the brakes. It's something that you should do every year. With Lance, you don't have to worry about it. The brakes automatically adjust themselves. This right here is your main entrance. You do have two. The other one is right up front, as you saw. Two steps into both. The other cool thing is both of them have the foldable easy grab handle. So it doesn't matter if you're entering into the bedroom or into the main living space here, you have that grab handle uh, so that way you have control when entering or exiting the RV. You also see you have a remote lock on the main door here, or a keyless entry rather. So that way, you know, if you forget your keys, not a big deal. You can just put the code in and you can quickly and easily enter the RV. As it says right here, this one is four season all weather certified. Lance does a really cool thing with their, uh, their holding tanks. Basically what they do is they take the holding tank, they drop it into another tank, so there's just a little space all around it, and then they force heat straight into that. It's probably one of the, in my opinion, probably one of the best uh, four season capable campers out there. They definitely do, uh, go through a lot to make sure that you're able to camp in that colder weather. Right back here is a ladder so you can quickly and easily climb up onto the roof. Nice thick ladder on here too. A lot of manufacturers, the ladders they're putting on, they're really thin. I'm not a small guy myself, you know, I'm uh, way about, eh, about 210, 215 right now. But you have a lot of people that are much larger than me that are, you know, have to climb up and down these things too. And I'm telling you, they feel a little wobbly. Not the case to Lance. This is a nice thick ladder. It's one I definitely feel confident climbing on. Right back here is a nice big window. That's above that rear J lounge. That way if you do have a beautiful view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it right here. Lance has this kind of three-quarter rear cap on here. Uh, it's basically just for aesthetics, but it really does give it a nice, clean, edgy look. I think it's a pretty cool feature they threw on there. Right back here is your bumper. As you'd expect, the ends do pull out. That way you can store your sewer hose in there. And one of the things I also like to talk about right underneath, uh, you can't really see it here, but this is a BAL huck bolt frame, folks. Actually, you can kind of see right there they have a huck bolt. Um, the nice thing about the huck bolt is one, the number one place that your frame tends to rust at is right where the weld seam is. So by elim eliminating that weld seam, you reduce the chance for the rust to start there. Also, if you do get into an accident, a huck bolt frame is a heck of a lot easier to repair. You'll also see they have BAL jacks on here. Those jacks use a fraction of the turns of your standard jack. So again, just like the power tongue jack, this will certainly help with your setup and teardown time. You'll see you have one valve right back here. This is one of your gray tanks. You will notice that it runs all the way in. It is an actuated valve, again, because they want to make sure that your valves are insulated. Right here, some extra little storage. You can take a look right there. Still magnetic, just like this one is. You know, it's not huge storage areas, but it's two storage areas they didn't have to include. You know, it is nice they put that in there. Any storage is definitely uh, wanted storage. Anything you can put in there, you want. 30 amp detachable power cord, cable inlet and satellite right over here. And then you'll also see right here is your outside shower with hot and cold water access. You'll also notice black tank flush here as well as your city water. And then your main termination with your gray, or your gray valve here and then your black right next to it. The last thing I do want to mention is right up here is that second battery compartment that I had previously mentioned. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018.5 Lance 2375. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. 
Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.